You're watching America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. Good morning. I'm Marcy Gonzalez in for Diana Perez. And I'm John Muller. We're getting word from Ukraine that days of bloody battles on the streets of Kiev may be coming to an end. You're looking at a live picture from Kiev where settlement talks between opposition leaders and Ukraine's president have been ongoing overnight. This morning, Kiev's main square is crowded but peaceful following the most violent confrontation yet in the months old crisis. Friday started with relative calm in Kiev, quieter streets, few signs of police. Far from the carnage seen yesterday, the bloodiest day in weeks of protest. A brief truce shattered as government security forces fired on protesters. These people willing to die for the freedoms that America enjoys. Basic rules of all what you have and all, all what you're fighting for 200 years ago, we're fighting for this today. Weeping mourners carrying the bodies of the fallen, a hotel lobby turned field hospital. Images like these drawing outrage from around the world. President Obama considering strong sanctions against the Ukrainian regime. And last night, Secretary of State John Kerry describing America's anger and anguish as Kiev erupted in violence. Photos of Kiev from months ago and now, the once calm capital of a country brought to the brink of civil war. Word of today's deal being discussed in Ukraine's parliament right now. This video is taken just minutes ago, showing lawmakers pushing and shoving clearly a tense day in Kiev as the world demands a solution to this crisis. Stay with ABC News for the very latest on the crisis in Ukraine. A live update from Kiev later on Good Morning America.